Mona Haddam was born in Lebanon in 1942 to a Palestinian family. A little bit about her cultural background that can be seen manifesting itself in her work is that like a large portion of Palestinians who became exiles in Lebanon after 1948, her family were never able to obtain Lebanese identity cards. And when she went to London for a small time when she was 23, Mona was unable to re-enter Lebanon because of her, because of the war that broke out there. In return, it created a dislocation in herself. She is also, she is most known for challenging the movements of surrealism and minimalism, and she explores the conflict and the contradictions of the world. Later in her career, she also began making installations and sculptures in different materials. One of her notable pieces is entitled The Hot Spot from 2009. This piece and name refers to civil unrest in places of military. She used delicate red neon to outline the continents. What is interesting about this idea of civil unrest is that the entire globe is represented as a danger zone by all being in red. She describes this concept with the words, world continually caught up in conflict and, un and unrest. Another piece by her is titled Greater Divide from 2002. This piece mimics a room divider, though when observed more, it is obvious that this object is also a six foot cheese grater. This piece then becomes a comical and sinister piece while also strangely graceful as a sculpture. It leads one to think of the relatively harmless kitchen utensil as a threat when scaled up to a large proportion. Mona's light sentence from 1992 is made from wire mesh and made to replicate lockers. It also contains a slow moving motorized light bulb. This light source dynamically and poetically casts shadows. These this simultaneously these simultaneously grow and reduce on the walls around the room. The shadows in turn create more and even bigger cage like structures which effectively entrap the viewer. The work implies themes of confinement, disorient disorientation, and exile, but equally creates a beautiful visual experience. A more recent piece entitled Remains is part of a large series she made for the 10th Hiroshima Art Prize. It is a wooden chair that has been wrapped in chicken wire and then set a light to leave partial remains in an, a skeleton-like structure. These burnt husks act as a ghost of the aftermath of war, conflict, and natural disaster. In the context of Hiroshima, it reminds us of the charred and uh, desolate scene after the aftermath of the nuclear attack on the city. Mona ha Haddam has done much in her work challenging the movements of surrealism and minimalism. Thank you for your time.